Today, I am back with the Ford Model A. Now that I know that the car does drive down the road and I know I don't have to do any major rebuilds on the engine, the transmission, or the rear end, it's time to go through and change all of the fluids. I'm going to start by draining all of the oils and the plugs are exactly where you would expect them to be. Here is the plug for the engine. Here is the plug for the transmission. And here is the plug for the rear end. The drain plug on the engine takes a 15 16th socket. There's a slight bit of milkiness coming out, but I think it's just sludge coming off the bottom of the oil pan. I don't think it's actually mixed within the oil itself. I was cleaning off the oil plug to put it back in and then realized it's actually hollow in the center. This is 100 year old engine goo inside of here. This has probably never been cleaned out before in this car's lifetime. The plug on the transmission is square, so I'm going to be using an eight point socket. I don't want to put a wrench on here because I will risk the chances of stripping this out. So let's try the socket. My battery is flashing, let's try a new one. Okay, the impact wrench isn't cutting it. Let's try a breaker bar. Okay, it is turning. We can definitely bet that this has not been changed in a very long time, decades. Well, it looks like there was hardly anything in there. The car should shift a lot better once there's oil in it. After I put oil back in, I'm really going to have to look around and see how bad the leak was, whether this leaked out over decades or if it's all going to drain out within a year or less. One last fluid and the one I am looking the least forward to. The outside of this plug is round. There's only a slot here to turn. And if this plug is seized in there like the last two have been, there's a very high chance of ruining this plug. I'm going to have to be really, really careful with this one. I'm going to use a wrench with my screwdriver to give me a little bit extra leverage. That way I can push up with the screwdriver and then turn with the wrench. Yep, that is very stuck. This is a slotted bit that I can put onto the breaker bar. Looks like it's turning.
and nothing. Let's start putting the fluids in and see what happens. Since I'm already back here, I guess we can start with the rear end. So I'll get this plug out. Today for the rear end and the transmission, this is what I am going to be putting in. All the products that I'm going to be showing you today, you can go and get at any parts store. If you want to go on to a Model A specific website, you can order over the internet. Oils that are specifically made for these cars, but there are plenty of things available at your local parts store that will work just fine. And as an alternative to this, a lot of people like to use the Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer in the rear ends and the transmissions on these cars. But today I'm just going to go with the gear oil. These new bags that gear oil comes in now makes it really easy to fill things. There we go. It took almost one full quart to fill that up. To fill the transmission, you do that with this plug here, which you can get to either underneath the car or by removing the floor. This again is a square plug, so I'm going to be using an eight point socket. Put in the last of the gear oil left over from the rear end. These bags make this so easy. And there we go. Put the plug back in. And with that, I am done underneath the car. So let's put the car back down on the ground and we'll do the rest of it from the engine bay. This car doesn't have an oil filter, so we don't have to worry about that. We can put the oil right in. This is pretty common on American cars all the way up through the 50s. Oil filters were optional on a lot of American cars. For the engine oil, I'm using Mobile One 1030 high mileage. And that's all there is to an oil change on a 1928 Model A. That's going to be it for today. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments that I should have done this first, but there's a method to my madness. And with that, I'm going to grease all the grease points real quick and then go for a drive. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.